Hello and welcome to another episode of Blender tutorial and we will be learning the modeling. We will model this armchair and I have already done the, done the setup to bring in the image and I have created this reference box for the dimension. Okay, so we can begin. What I would like to do is create a box shift a select a box or a cube okay and especially if you are coming from 3ds max i have created a video regarding the navigation if you are used to the 3ds max navigation and you don't like the blender or you just want to get up to speed you can watch that video so you can use the same method of 3ds max navigation here in blender and you can just start building your stuff okay so i can scale it down somewhat here bring it up so it will set okay so somewhere here and then i press the tab key to get into the edit mode and then i can select the vertex press g i can just move it and then i can actually bring it up scale it something like this or I can bring it all the way up to here and then just scale it and then select this one just align it here roughly okay now here I need another extrude so just select press E to extrude okay oh uh, just about here and then I'll do one more just about here and then one more for here and select these two vertex and just move it and aligning it to the reference and the same goes for this one for the top part as you can see the line is turning even the reference image is slightly turning so what we can do is we can just adjust it slightly and maybe rotate it slightly press r to just rotate okay and now what we can do is begin our journey of extruding one more time all the way up to here and then just select these and then bring that in fine now <clears throat> the remaining part is this curve okay no problem what we can do is select these ones let's see how it's coming in the perspective it's looking good so just come in just come in and we can extrude what i would like to do is hold the control key on the keyboard and then right click yeah and then keep holding the control keyboard and just right click okay and then i can just press the s key just to scale it down just a little bit and then continue the same process hold the control key right click so it, uh, it detects the movement of the mouse so for example if i bring it here so it will adjust the vertices so let me let me undo it and then bring it here and then scale it down a little bit and even this one and then i can do one more one last now uh, this one what i can do is press the scale s key on my keyboard s now it will scale but i don't want to scale like this okay what i would like to do is press the z key and press the zero key on my number pad wow perfect so this is all aligned in this direction i can just bring this down so roughly to this line and then we can adjust the shape a little bit more okay when we apply the smoothing so it will already make the shape all right so we are done with this part as you can see and let's go to the shading view this one i think i can hide for now so hide it 
okay so this is our piece that we built and we should be proud at our accomplishment this is great fine so let's begin oh sorry let's continue we can see there's one more piece that is coming out this can be a separate piece <clears throat> so like the last time what we can do is maybe i can actually just uh move it slightly aligning to the reference okay just a little bit scale it down just a little bit okay so shift a and we create another cube Okay, so I will add a cube, shift A, cube, where is the cube, this is the cube, S to scale it down, G to move it in place, and then scale it again, roughly here, press R to rotate, if you want, you can just align it to the surface, and then just move it up, here, alright, so we are done with this part as well, we need to add this piece, again the same concept we need a box okay so let's bring in the box shift a and the q again scale it down g to move in place and then scale it down press r to rotate bring it forward something like this and then we just control click to bring it out Rotate it slightly, aligning to the shape that it is forming going forward. Then we'll continue. Rotate it slightly again. Move it. And then control right click again. Slightly rotate it. Yeah. Slightly rotate it. And then okay and then i'll rotate it again it's just a bit control right click looks good slightly rotating and then rotate slightly and then one last fine so this part is also done just for the basic creation of course this one needs to have more width and i don't like why this is so thick here fine so what we need to do is i can adjust this so just repeat the process it only selected one side fine now you just scale it something like this okay now it's fine 